Good morning, my student physicians. This is uh, DJ Mar here. Actually, it's Second Lieutenant DJ Mar here now. And I just finished my first weekend at commissioned officer training. You can see I'm already in my uniform and whatnot. And for this video, we're just going to talk about or we're just going to talk about how this first week of commissioned officer training for uh, the HPSP scholarship is going, and what it's about, what it's like, and then I'll probably get some more uh, perspectives from other students, so let's stay tuned. guys first week's done and I think I've grown I think I've grown like a person um, really um, I'll tell you how uh, everything kind of goes down so we uh, wake up at 4 30 a.m. you know we um, usually do some PT some physical training uh, get in shape go eat breakfast the breakfast line is a little bit dull this last this last week. Uh, you have to do uh, breakfast in a specific order, so you have to uh, walk in. You have to report as a group of your your flight, so a group of students or whatever that are in COT. Um, I have people in my flight that are from all over. But anyway, so you go in. Um, you have to keep your heels together. You can't talk. Go in, grab your go around, grab your food. You have to pay for your food. That's uh, something that they might not tell you. You have to pay for your own food at COT, which is a a weird thing. Um, you also have to buy your own uniforms. That is something else that they didn't tell us. So anyway, after you eat breakfast, you um, go to classes. Um, while you're marching between buildings, that's when the MTIs, so the staff, the, the officer training school staff, that's when they're in between buildings, they're yelling at you, they're trying to get you uncomfortable. They will never touch you, nor will they hurt you, so that's important to understand. They are just yelling at you to try to make you anxious. The important thing to remember is, is when you're getting yelled at, is to try to keep your bearings, so try to keep a straight face, and not pay attention to how they're saying it to you, but what they are saying. They are just trying to teach you. The MTIs care a lot about us. They're very nice people. Uh, Master Sergeant Dudley is uh, our uh, squadron commander. She is wonderful. She's uh, she's just the best. Uh, but anyway, so after you're getting done, you go to your classes, uh, you eat lunch, go to buildings, get yelled at, uh, come back, get yelled at, go to your buildings, uh, do classes, and then you eat dinner around seven, and then after seven, you might have a meeting or two afterward, and you're done by eight or 2,000, and then your lights out at 2,200. So it's a pretty long day. Um, you definitely get really tired. You have to find some way to keep yourself awake during classes. Surprisingly, they don't get mad at you for being tired during classes, and that's something I really was really um, that's something I really wasn't uh, was surprised about. So that's week one. Um, some uh, things that are setbacks or things that I wasn't aware of before I got here about a week ago, I found out that I had to buy all of my uniforms, like I mentioned earlier. And the, the thing said that you needed around $2,500 to pay for uniforms. And I was like, holy crap, that's a lot of money. Um, so that's boots, uh, three pairs of ABUs, which are your airman battle uniforms. That's uh, the military stuff, what I was wearing earlier. This, this design, uh, you need four pairs of those, or three pairs of those, three pairs of PT gear, that's this stuff, and the shorts. Um, I'll just show you the shorts real quick. Pretty sweet, actually. Um, 
you know, nothing too special. They're above the knee, so they're kind of like running shorts. And they also work as a swim short, which is kind of cool. And then you need uh, two types of suits. One's called your blues, and one's called your mess dress. Now your mess dress is more formal. It's called a, it's like more of a tuxedo. And your blues are more of like a, a tailored suit that you'd wear. And so luckily, they changed the rule that we don't have to buy the mess dress, which is about $700. So we got out of that, but we did have to buy the blues, which is about a $500 suit. So total, I spent about $1,600. Now you do get paid at HPSB, um, I believe. Now don't run me the numbers around it, but you get paid for 45 days 80 uh, active duty tour, which is in 01, and it's around five grand for the 45 for 45 days. But officer training school is only 30 days, so uh, just keep that in mind. Well, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, wait for next week. I'm gonna get some perspectives from the other students. Sorry, I didn't put that in the, in the, in the on the end of this video, but. We'll catch you guys later, alright? So stay tuned and bye bye.